So after further inspection, I uh, decided to pull up the pan. Um, we had about less than a half an inch where the top of the tile would have sat just a half an inch below the curb. Um, so if there was any type of blockage, whether it was a slow moving drain or anything, there was a good possibility that the water could have just filled up and uh, started spewing over the edge of the uh, curb. So we removed the pan and then upon further inspection, come to find out that the pan was not properly um, poured. So it's deteriorating, it's falling apart. So in time, this is what it looked like. It was just a bunch of sandy grit. So all that needs to be fixed. And then further inspection, I noticed that we had uh, four corner seams in the hardy backer. Um, so I pulled off some harder backer, plus uh, where some of the screws were, they were cracked. So uh, it wasn't even holding it to the wall anyways. So we pulled them out, drilled out the old screws, and uh, we'll get it all tight and buttoned up. Um, once I get this fixed, I'll pull out some of this so we can make some of these seams right here look better. So we don't have areas where water's protruding. They do have uh, some uh, shear wall um, protectant, but it's not really a moisture barrier. It, uh, like you would use in a shower, it will allow water, it allows air to breathe, but in time it still allows water to um, protrude through it, but uh, still it works. Um, we'll do a waterproofing over the top of the whole shower anyways. Um, but here you have it. So day one, Instead of starting, looks like we're going backwards. Got to fix some of these seams, but every day is a new day.